I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. You won't believe this is about the third time I'm doing this video. <laughs> about the third time. Now, I want to thank all those who have been sharing my videos, those of you who have subscribed, those of you who call from the United States, the UK, and different parts of the world, and the different messages you sent to me. They are very, very encouraging. And those of you who make very good comments on the during in the comment section, God bless you all. Those of you who make funny comments and cynical comments, thank you so much. It makes me know that there's a lot of mental reorientation that needs to be done in the minds of many Africans and Christians. It is very encouraging to hear from such cynical people. The next thing is that I want to thank uh, Mrs. Olorogun, Mrs. Dema Onome Dema that sent these glasses to me. She has sent three pairs of glasses to me. They've been very durable, very helpful, and very beautiful. God bless you, Ma. She's, she, she was the former president of the Robo Progress Union in North America. I want to thank the administrator of our WhatsApp mentorship group that sent these um, t-shirts, about six of them, from Abuja. He wanted me to be wearing simple, fine clothes to do my videos. I want to thank the man that sent me this Helox truck that has been a blessing to me. I want to thank him. God bless him mightily in Jesus' name. Somebody also sent me, there is sometimes I do videos inside that Mercedes 450 formatic. God bless all of you richly in Jesus' name. Now, in 2 Kings chapter 4, the prophet Elisha told the widow to go and borrow vessels, not a few, he specified, and then shut the door against herself and start pouring oil into the vessels. Number one, borrow vessels. When you want to reinvigorate your life, you do not need to have to start with your original ideas. You can borrow ideas. You can copy ideas. In uh, development administration, there's something called the flying geese development uh, uh, procedure. That is to say, it's not the bottom up or the top down development procedure. The flying geese, when you see geese flying, they fly in a formation. One might be higher than the other and they go down like that. So if somebody has achieved a level of development, it percolates down like the Chinese, the South Koreans, and then the Asian tigers. You see the way it percolated down to several of those countries. So I got born again in the Living World Ministries at Aba, and I copied what Ima Okori and his wife, Sister Chinyere Okori, were doing. And I brought them here, and they have grown. I went to Canaan land, and I raised up my hand. God said, put down your hand. Observe what this man is doing. Go back and replicate. So I went around, I saw what was going on, and I came back and replicated at my own level. And I've had tremendous results. So copy ideas, still with your eyes, still with your ears. You don't remove pride from your life. Many people, many Christians are not willing to learn from others. Copy, learn, and then you will grow. Be but modify it to be an original with your own brand. So the next thing is that when the oil was poured into the containers, as long as there were no new containers to pour the oil into, the oil ceased. The anointing was there. The man of God was there. The oil was there but there were no containers. I learned a serious lesson from that, that God is willing to bless you, but as long as there are no new avenues, no new streams of income, no new opportunities you create for you to be blessed, you will remain stagnant at that level of blessing. So if you pay your tithes and you give offerings, I don't want to go into those controversies, and you serve the Lord in the church, and you are committed, 
but you are on salary, you are like a bottle that is corked. If the Lord pours down his blessings, there is no way the blessings can reach you because you are corked. You are sealed. If you now open up an opportunity, like maybe selling recharge cards, selling peanut, doing whatever around you, you have opened a new container for God to pour into. If the size of the container is very small, the word of God will be fulfilled until there is no, room, no more room to contain it. Once there is no more room to contain it, the anointing stops flowing. The oil stops expanding. So what, have I, what did we do? I read this passage. I shared it with my family. So we started creating new opportunities each time for God to open doors for us. We started creating the containers for God to pour oil into. i give you an example. I did a seminar titled Creating Wealth. And then I took the CDs, shared them into three, and it was giving me 600,000 Naira then. Then I wrote the book, Money is an Idiot. It was giving me a quarter of a million every month then. So the book was there, and then the, the, the CDs from that book, so I was making 850,000 Naira every month. I created containers for the oil to flow into. I, read, I wrote a book titled Common Problems in Marriage. It did not sell because the title was wrong and people pretend a lot as if they don't have problems. It's only Dr. Apoki that has problems and because he's a foolish man, he shares his problems to the whole public. <laughs> Dr. Foki, you no get sense. You share your problems to the whole public. So, I now, I was in Tinkan Island Hotel. I now shared the book into two. I changed the titles. Oil of Marriage and Marriageable or Manageable. Within a space of one year or thereabout, all the 1,000 copies each I printed finished. And I increased the price. So I found out that the more avenues I have for God to pour his blessings into, the more money I made. The more avenues I have to share the deposit in me, the more global impact I made. So I have a radio program in the Niger Delta here that has a potential audience of 6 million people every Wednesday. Then I paid for another one, a potential audience of about maybe 4 million people every Tuesday. So I have a large audience that I influence every Wednesday and every Tuesday. Then I have Facebook page. I have this YouTube channel. I have the WhatsApp mentorship group. So I have avenues to spread my anointing, my oil. Somebody called me from the United States today, was praying for me, a Yoruba man, said so many beautiful things. He called from uh, Chicago. Called me so ma many wonderful names that Dr. Apoki was a rare breed. In Ugeli here, no person would tell me that. Somebody called me a, um, a rare admiral, called me and was thanking me and praying for me. It is because I harnessed the avenue of pouring my oil into YouTube. Don't let your oil go still. There is a talent in you. There is a blessing in you. There is a uniqueness in you. There is a small product in your house that you can expand to bless your generation and to reinvigorate your life. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Please, Subscribe to this channel and share these videos with people to encourage them to change their lives. And join my WhatsApp mentorship group, plus 234-7052-136763. That's the WhatsApp mentorship group. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about how to sell your oil. God bless you.